Hello together and welcome to the third PV collaboration. My name is Chris Gladier. I'm from Germany, so please be a little bit gently when I don't speak too much or not so perfect English. <laughs> Just for your information. Um, yes, my idea for this PV collaboration is that I have this pretty wood board, some MDF board, and I will paint on this some bloom, but it's not only one MDF board, I need two. And what I also need for my idea is some uh, saw, some drill machine, some silicone, some fairy lights, some crystals. It's a really big process. Um, and hopefully the idea that I have in my head uh, works in this process. I'm so excited. Um, what I also use are um, my German uh, pouring medium, many piggies, acrylic tube paints um, from different brands. But I will show you all this in my working process and hopefully that you have fun and enjoy this video. My friends, I will start and wish you much fun. So I have mixed up my colors and the colors that I use are PIP Fog Eye. It's a really pretty color. I like this very much. Sock eye is some salmon pinky color tone with some peachy notes. Look at this glitter. Ooh, so pretty. And then I have mixed up TLP Glisten. Uh, this one is some interference color. Um, some interference green and blue tones but I think that I turns out into a turquoise when you look here and you can see the color shift here in the what is it in this cup, it's look like shiny whitey color and yes, when you place them on your other colors, it's turned out in this color shifty turquoise. Very pretty, I like this too. I like all these, I know. Then I will use for my pretty heart, Matisse Sassan Ocean Blue. Then Matisse Australian Red Violet. I need a new tube. <laughs> um, and Paints Grey in my pouring medium from Amsterdam. And from Amsterdam Titanium White Cell Activator. So, and now I will start with my painting session. My friends, here's now my dried result, my dried piggy bloom heart, and I have used my sword to cut out this little piece. And the reason for this is that I will um, place here um, some clay and some fairy lights and some silicone mushrooms with light 
um, I will all just create a uh, um, handmade create and we place then when all is finished here on this board with my heart like this and moss and crystals and yes this is also some path for my fairy heart light mushroom <laughs> diorama um yes and now it's time for resin because we need the shiny one here the shiny shiny so here i have my heart and tape the back side with some scotch tape and now it's time for the resin <laughs> So my friends, now here is my resin coated dried result. I have drilled here some little holes in it that I need for my LEDs. I have here some cables that I have twist and fixed here the LED light. And I will, let me show you, I will push them here into the, between, into the holes, like this, and will create with, let me look, um, with, um, crystal clear silicone some mushrooms out of this and now I will start with this process with the creative part for my creative heart so now I have here my LED cable some foil my clear um silicone what i have tinted with some alcohol ink and a little bit of water and dish soap so that i can clean my hands and now i will push this little bit from the silicone here Ooh. It's really a sticky situation. Um, that's no problem. First stem from my mushroom. Wait a moment. I will turn the camera. So now I will wait that this dried and then I can combinate this with my heart. And this I will do now with all my other LEDs. So now I will start with the mushroom caps and for this I have grabbed me some fresh mixing cup because my other cup from the mushroom stems they are looking like this and it's not pretty. <laughs> so um, a little bit of silicone again in my mixing cup. And it's really a sticky situation. You must um, 
look that you don't have the silicone on your hands because it's so difficult to clean all this some drops of my alcohol ink and then i will mix this a little bit step for my um, fairy diorama is that I have make with this translucent polymer clay um, here's some little pieces that I have formed to some what is it cane cane and now I will out of make out of them some more mushrooms sounds like a um, wonderland for super mario with all these mushrooms here rooms and I will let them dry and in this time I will bring in shape not me but my little board here this I will cut in shape with this saw because the edges are not pretty for me I will more a round shape and when I finish with this I will start to create some landscape with my foil and then I will bring on the foil my polymer clay. So I will start
So my diorama is now full wrapped in my clay. And what we need now is a little bit of mose and some crystals and my mushroom and also we need wooden glue i hope this is correct this word i use this and yes and in my working process I got the idea that I make a little fairy sea, some lake, and for this I will use resin and piggies. And I will mix up now my resin for the fairy tale sea. So here you can see my little lake that I have created with some little waterfall but this I will make at the end and so I have the idea that I <clears throat> mixed now this little piggy indigo waves what is some um, indigo blue with some um, golden sparkly particles and this I will mix up now in UV resin because it's quicker when I use the UV resin, I can use this lamp and go over the resin and so the resin is dried and so I can mix up my another layer. But first, we mix here this indigo piggy. It is my first color that I will lay down for my lake with the little waterfall. And then I will use normal resin. By the way, I use art resin. This is for me um, the easiest resin to work. Then I will use some little layer of mermaid resin. This is some blue greenish color shifting turquoise piggy it's really pretty and at the end i will mix up some drunken piggy um, i will make make out of um, this lagoon pigment um, some alcohol ink and mixed up then another layer of resin with this but I will show you this all in this process. this mermaid in it. And I will pour some clear resin in this. So my resin layers are now completely dried and my idea was to create some um, kind of alcohol ink with this Lagoon Piggy. The reason why I use um, or why I will create some alcohol ink is that I not um, the perfect resin arches, <laughs> more the pouring or bloomer 
and my problem is that I put every time too much from this pretty pigments into my resin and so my idea was that I make with a little zip of glycerin what is it isopropanol genau this is it <laughs> um, and put down a little bit from this pigment in it and make some kind of alcohol ink and drip with this mixing stick some in my clear resin and it is really a good option because you get more this crystal here uh, this also made with lagoon alcohol ink that I have made and yes this is um, the reason why I mixed up now my pigments with this isopropanol alcohol and laid down my last my last um, layer of resin for my fairy sea and waterfall. I would turn the camera down so that you can see what I make here with my pigments and with the <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> um, and then we will make the last layer of resin in my sea. So now I have here my clear resin. And now I will use this empty cup and fill some little zip of this alcohol in it. This is enough. And then I will put some not too much so now we have here this alcohol and piggy mixture um, I'm not really sure if you can call this mixture alcohol ink but it's um, alcohol in it it is tinted so for my project i call this alcohol ink but i really not sure if you can use this um, mixture for the regular alcohol ink art but you can see it don't change the color or lost some shimmer it's really pretty from this color and now I will drop a little bit from this inky tones in my clear resin and so I get sure that I don't put too much pigments in it oh, it's a little bubbly reason it's at the moment really cold here in Germany but a good idea is when you have bubbly bubbles in your resin you can mix it up and place this resin in warm water for five minutes um, this cup in another cup with water and so all the bubbles came at the top and Yes. So you can see you don't lose some from the color or the schwein shine. <laughs> um, you can see this on this mixing stick. You have all this pretty shimmer and sparkles from this pigment in it. But the clear resin is not to overload with color and this you can make with my idea with the alcohol Ooh, oh no can you see this <laughs> no 
Dragoon. I will fix this. So again, this few with my seal. And now I will lay down my last resin. later <laughs> and now i'm finished with my big project and here is my heart and my landscape with all these mushrooms my fairy sea and my little waterfall my lightning mushrooms and also my crystal with light in it i will turn the lights down so that you can see all this Ooh. Uh. <laughs> can you see it Okay, I must say, I like this really. And yes, it was a long process, but I have so much fun to create this. And I hope you like my video. And at the end, I will give you a little close up from my fairy diorama and so you can see all my details that I have created here. And have you any questions, you can write down some comments or leave your questions. And then I will answer it quickly for you. I wish you much fun with all my other artist friends in this Piggy collaboration. And now I give you the close up. <laughs> 